this is 2022 KCSE Mathematics Paper 2 uh, Section 1 which consists of 50 marks uh, You are supposed to answer all the questions and the spaces provided It consists of uh, 16 questions awarded 2, 3, 4 marks to the maximum So we have question number 1 here It says an investor uh, took a loan from a bank that charged interest uh, the loan and the interest accrued were repaid in monthly installments. The investor repaid 1,500 Kenyan shillings in the first month and each subsequent month the installment were reducing uh, by 50 shillings until the loan was fully paid. Determine the maximum amount of the loan to be paid uh, amount that may be paid for the, that loan. So looking at the question, it is from the topic uh, series and sec sequence and series. Uh, so here we can form a sequence whereby the first payment was 1500 or 1500 reduced by uh, 50. So we get here, we get uh, 14, uh, 1450. Uh, the next one is 1400. Uh, the next one is uh, 1350 on and on and on we can continue like that and then we sum up uh, the, the the amount but that will be uh, a lot of work so we need to use a formula uh, so we need by the time the loan is uh, repaid uh, the last term will be zero when it is fully repaid so we can say the nth term a plus n minus one uh, multiplied by d is zero we have the first term a is a is uh, 1500 uh, d common difference is equals to minus 50 because it is reducing that is minus 50 uh, so we can be able to find n using this equation and we say 1500 which is the first term plus uh, n minus 1 into bracket minus 50 is equals to zero so we can say 1500 uh, plus n multiplied by minus 50 that will give us uh, minus uh, minus 50 n uh, minus 1 multiplied by minus 50 that will give us positive 50 uh, is equals to zero so if we add 1500 plus 50 that is 1550 take 50 n to the other side we have 50 n is equals to 1500 1550 divided by 50 uh, divided by 50 so we get n is equals to we you get n is equals to 31 so the number for the loan to have completely paid then uh, the number the n term is to be zero the, it, uh, it, that is the amount to be zero the number of the n term is at one so we can use we can now use this formula and say uh, s is equals to n over 2 into bracket 2n 2a not n plus n minus 1 into bracket uh, d and we close the bracket so this is the sum of the nth term and we have n so this is equals to 31 divided by 2 uh, you multiply by 2 multiply by 1500 which is a first term then we have uh, plus uh, n is at 1 so this is n 30, 1 minus 1 is 30 you multiply by minus 50 minus 50 that is uh, minus 50 uh, we can put the bracket here and we also put the bracket there and we close the braces so this is going to give us uh, that one divided by two is 1550 this is uh, 3000 uh, this will be minus this is 3000 minus uh, this will be 1500 so it means we multiply 1500.5 we multiply by 1500 and when you do that then you should be able to get 23,250 using your calculator. So this is the total amount of loan that was to be paid. 
So you are being tested when, whether you understand sequence, which you learned in Form 3, where you learned about the first term, the common difference for geometric, for arithmetic and sequence and geometric sequence. You also learned the sum of the n terms for geometric uh, arithmetic progression as well as geometric progression. So that's how you uh, you work out that question and you are able to get three marks.